Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, The Truth About God. And um, today I want to talk about uh, God's virtue and the virtue that comes from God and God alone um, and how it's not mine and how it's not yours and I can't take no credit for it because this is something that God has given. And um, you know, this is something that... Um, Honestly, God has uh, worked with me in, you know, especially um, when it comes to the blessings of being obedient to God, because I've received those blessings, like, in ways that I never would have uh, expected, and to a degree, I started to feel... Um, vain or arrogant and because of how my relationship with jesus is set up my relationship with god is set up like the holy spirit the holy spirit get me together real quick like right on say man this don't even have nothing to do with you okay this is all because of, of me all right it all begins in me i'm the uh the origin author and the originator of your faith okay so i need you to you know, get get yourself together, get hop back in your right mind, like hop back right up in there, cause you had hopped out of it, <laughs> and come right on back to reality. And um, I think a lot of us need that reminder. It's not a wanted reminder. Don't nobody want to have to be checked by God. Nobody, but um, we need it anyway. Um, and before I go any further, let me give you uh, the first scripture reference and it is Romans chapter 12 verse 3 um, for by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think with sober judgment each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned all right we cannot take credit for the will of God in our lives we just can't do that. Um, we cannot take credit for the blessings um, that come from being obedient to God, right? The scripture says it over and over again. There are blessings for obedience. There are a multitude of blessings for obedience. I know that's true because I, I've experienced them and I am currently experiencing them. And it's phenomenal. So many blessings, um from being obedient to God. And a lot of times when we think about being blessed and blessings, it's always money. But there's so many um, spiritual blessings, relational blessings, um, familial blessings, um, just from being in his presence and being obedient to him. Um, we can't take credit for the blessings that come from being obedient to God. It is his promises fulfilled, okay? Not of our own righteousness. This is not of our own righteousness. This is not of our own righteousness. Let me say that one more time. This is not of our own righteousness. We are not smart enough. Okay? We don't have all our right stuff together to be out here thinking that we can live a good life apart from God. It is Him who gives the glory. It is Him who, who gives the, uh, the blessings. We can't do this alone. So, um... It's not of our own accord. It is Christ Jesus himself who makes us stand, not our good works. Okay? With that, let me get over to the next scripture. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Yep, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Okay. What does that mean? All right. Say you went to the homeless shelter and you passed out some plates and you gave some food and you stayed all day. You stayed later even when the other volunteers left. You stayed later to help clean up and do all that extra stuff. And um, you leaving and you get in your car and you tempted to say, I did that. I did. I'm a good person. I helped a lot of people today. I did a good job. And I could... 
let me let me get reach over here and get this other pet right here on this side of my back right here all right are we allowed to feel good about ourselves certainly is that a good thing to do certainly is it um a blessing and help so many you know people who needed that help and needed your hands to do that certainly okay but it is our response to that that lies that's the problem okay first off if that's something that you did, God created you to do that exact thing. God created you to go to that homeless shelter, pass out some plates, stay extra to help, um, help clean up, and do all the things that you are now patting on yourself on the back to say that, oh, I did it. Oh, look at me. I'm so green. Oh, let me self-hug myself because I just did it. And it's so good. God created you to do that work, okay? God created you to do that work. He prepared it beforehand. He prepared that exact job beforehand so you could do it and so that you could walk in it. So you could be blessed by it. So you could bless other people. So you could um, know more about who you are, who he created you to be, um, walking in your purpose. Not for you to thunderclap yourself. Okay? This may be real easy for some people. Some people may be so low and humble that they just be looking like, oh, Lord, I don't even, you know. But for some other folks, this may be harder. And that's okay because there's grace for that. And God understands. The point I'm making to you is this. When we're in those situations where God uses us in mighty ways, we have to give that glory right back to God. We have to give it right back to him. Lord, thank you for using me. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to go there. Lord Jesus, thank you for even putting breath in my body and having a quarter drive so I could even get there and serve somebody who needed something from me. Thank you, Father God, for even using me for anything because I'm a wretch. I don't even have no business being here helping these folks that alone being in your presence. Thank you, Jesus, for anything that you've allowed me to do for you. This is the heart posture that we need to be in, serving God. Because all the virtue is his anyway. All the glory is his. Everything good is his. It all belongs to him. We ain't got nothing to do with that. We're just blessed and allowed to walk in it. That's the point. That's the point. All right. Um, if you've learned, right? If you've learned uh, to walk in God's statutes and to keep his commands, these are the blessings of obedience. To even learn, okay? To walk in God's statutes and to keep his commands. Even that's a blessing. Do you know how many? And if you alive any length of time you can walk and talk, you know folks is ignorant. People, and I'm not saying that because I'm hating on people, but myself included, can get real ignorant. Okay? And is always uh, seeking after God's faith and the Holy Spirit so I can stay in the center of his will and in the palm of his hand. Because I could like literally hop out and like do some stuff and get caught out there you know none of us are immune to that none of us have gotten so far along in our faith and in our lives where we can't get caught wrong you know and even surprise ourselves with the things that we'll do or um say or or in the way we'll behave you know what i'm saying so um if you've learned even learning to keep god's statutes and he and his commands that's a blessing all right um and the blessings of obedience, right? Certainly, there are so many things just attached to being obedient that we want to reap, that we want to be a part of. But we cannot then start doing the things and getting the blessings and being um, blessed in these wondrous ways. And then start pointing at other people like, did you see so-and-so over there cussing? Oh, she got mad. Don't she know that salt water and fresh water can't flow from the same fountain? So you over here putting your mouth on people because you got just a little bit, a little bit, and two months ago you was cussing up a storm. Okay, we can't, we can't be those type of people that that are hindering other people from growing or forget the grace that God gave us and how He brought us through. All right. Um, this is not evidence. It's, when we reap the benefits of these things and the blessings of obedience, it's not evidence of our own superiority over other people. It's just not. Um, it's the gift of God and the showing and, or manifestation of 
his greatness in our lives. All right. Let me give you uh, the last scripture. Let me get over here to the last scripture. And it's coming out of Luke chapter 17, verse 7 through 10. Will any of you who has a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him when he has come in from the field, Come at once and recline the table. Will he not rather say to him, Prepare supper for me and dress properly and serve me while I eat and drink, and afterward you will eat and drink? Does he thank the servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. All right. <sighs> we are unworthy servants. And I know a lot of times people don't like to hear that. And um, everything that I have in my life today, am I worthy of it? No. Do I deserve it? Heck no. I don't deserve a thing. I don't deserve nothing. I can't think of the... What I deserve, I don't want. How about that? What I know I deserve, I don't want no parts of it. <laughs> okay? So, we can't get in this business of, I deserve this, and I and I deserve that, and I worked hard. And even, even the ability to work hard came from God. Even the ability to think through a problem came from God. Even the opportunity to wake up, to move, to possibly get to the point where you could maybe think about something, that came from God. That's it. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Everything that you got comes from God. The blessings of obedience came from God. The wisdom that he gave you to even start following him and fear him, that came from God. All these things came from him. That's the point. Um, following him is a gift. Following him is a gift. Following Jesus Christ is a gift. And I don't know if we think about that enough. Um, we look at following Jesus, or at least when I really started getting serious about, um, actually, I can't even say when I started to get serious about it, because that even made it sound like it was something that I just decided to do. When God called me out of my foolishness, pretty much, when he was done, and me like had, like, like this, you know, putting my toe in, taking it out, putting my toe in, taking it out, and when he was like finished with all that, and it's like, okay. Time for you to come do what I say for you to do. Come sit down over here. It's a wrap, okay? You did it. You did it. Now come sit over here next to me. All right, baby. Come on. <laughs> when he got to me to that point, um, I thought following him was um, a duty. A duty. This is something that I just have to do. I have to follow Jesus um, and do everything. And it was a pressure-oriented thing because I thought that he... Um, I just thought he was like that. I thought God was like an uh, uh, earthly parent, and he's just not. And through growth and maturity and really just him loving me, just really drawing me in with his love and uh, transforming me, I now understand that following him is a gift. And it's not just a gift to me. It's a gift to everyone surrounding me. Um, he is the gift. He is the gift. He's the gift. Um, not our not our goodness. Not our goodness and our good things that we give and we do for the world. That's not the gift. He's the gift. And um, I'm praying that God will keep us in the right heart and the right mind and the, in the right heart and mind and spirit posture um, to serve him and be effective in his kingdom. And I know this word was a little like, eh, nah, 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 nah. but, um, he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our lives and it is not our goodness or even our desire to be good that got us here. It is only him. He is the virtue. God gives the virtue. All right. Um, if this uh, video helps you, even if it was a little ouch, it was like, eh, and you can't quite yet be like, amen, amen. But it's like, eh, don't worry, you'll get there. God will get you there. Um, we're all on a growth trajectory. We're all growing. We're all maturing. And we all ain't made it there yet. We ain't nobody made it there yet. We're all still 
walking so just keep walking and um certainly god will help you because he loves you certainly he loves you so much um like i said this video uh blesses you and it helps you and it encourages you and even just change your mind about some things let me know um in the comment section below and uh as always like subscribe and comment and i'll see you next time bye guys